7,400. So this is uh, actually uh, actual overhead incurred 99,000. Actually you have spent 99,000, but you have captured 91,800. So which means less. So you have uh, gold under absorption, right? So under absorption is negative figure. So if it is negative figure, I have shown here it's under absorption because uh, under is shown in the negative, right? In the, within the bracket. So that which means your answer also is in the bracket or minus or negative figure. So that it, this is under absorption. So what you have to do here under absorption you have to uh, minus it. Over absorption you have to add with the figure uh, gross uh, gross profit. So this is your to minus by uh, seven thousand two hundred, right? Then what you have, what you get you you get the sum of these two you get two hundred twenty three thousand eight hundred as gross profit. Then after that you have to adjust it for variable non-production overhead. So variable non-production overhead is how much? So that is. 15% uh, of the sales value. Sales value is 660 into 15 percent 99,000 and uh, your, your fixed non-production over here 40,000 plus 20,000. Then you get your net profit gross profit minus this one minus this one. You get 84,800 as uh, net profit. Okay after this is complete right so after looking at this what you have to do is you have to look at the monthly profits under absorption costing and marginal costing so if you look at the profit of july under the marginal costing you can clearly see here that it is 129000 but when it comes to absorption costing this is 140,000. Why? This is the same figure, same company, same month, but why the net profit is different for the same month in two calculations? The reason being is the fixed production overhead cost that you added here. You are adding a fixed production overhead cost. So this is the reason that 9 pounds is the reason for that. Right? And here also, here you are not adding the fixed production overhead. So that is the reason for these differences. So how can we show that difference? In order to show the differences, we have to, as I said before, we have to do the profit reconciliation. Right? How can we do the profit? If you look at the August month also, it's the same thing. Right? August also, if you look at it, 92,000. And here 99, uh, 92,000 and here 84,800. Profit is different. The reason is the same fixed production over here. So, in order to prove that, we have to do a reconciliation between two of those profits. Right? So, let's do and see. That is called profit reconciliation. Profit reconciliation statement under that you have to start with one profit that is let's say marginal costing profit then after that you have to adjust it for increase or decrease in stock into fixed overhead absorption rate okay then if you do that you get you will get you will arrive at the absorption costing profit let's try this so marginal costing profit is how much uh, in the month of july let's calculate and august Marginal cost profit during the month of July is 129,800. So 129,800. And increase or decrease in stock. What is the increase or decrease in stock? So 
increase or decrease mean you know that in the month of july under marginal costing the opening inventory starts with zero even you can look at look at it under uh, absorption costing also it's the same thing it's starting with zero and ending with 1200 units as a closing stock here also opening stock starts with uh, zero and ending with 1200 units as a closing stock so you can see from zero to 1200 units the stock is increasing so increase by 1200 units so 1200 units into so it's an increase right so into 9 into 9 what is 9 here but now that is the OER so increase or decrease in stock into fixed overhead absorption rate that is 9 we calculated already we calculated that here 9 so after that you add both of that to get 140,600 So this 140,600 is the same 140,600 140, uh, profit that you got under absorption costing. So now it's okay. It's now tallying. If your question, if your answers are wrong, it will not tally. Okay. So let us do this for the month of August as well. So August uh, marginal costing profit is how much? So that is uh, 92,000 increase or decrease in stock here you must know here the stock here is 400 we already calculated that 400 right so the stock here is 400 how to find 400 15600 divided by 39 400 here 46,800 divided by 39 that is 1200 so that that will be the same thing here no? 1200 mean here also 1200 46,800 so here the stock is starting from 1200 and ending as 400 so 1200 and ending in 400 so what is the difference opening stock minus the closing stock you get 800 as the difference right you get this 800 units into what is your OAR 9 so what do you get here this is a decrease okay decrease means you have to show it as a minus figure so just uh, simplify this you get 84,800 this 84,800 is the value here under the absorption cost so this is your profit reconciliation statement okay so this is how you have to do this question in this question they are not asking you to do the profit reconciliation but for your uh, satisfaction you can do and see whether your answer is correct or not thank you for watching if you have any questions you can uh, comment your questions in your in the under the video in the comment section and if you want me to do any other questions any other areas that you don't understand you can comment it so I will post it in the next video and uh, please uh, subscribe and like and share uh, my pages to your friends and family so that uh, I'll get more uh, subscription so that it'll, it'll uh, motivate me to uh, post more videos regarding uh, accounting, business and everything. So thank you for once again for watching this video. So let's meet in the next video. Thank you very much.